breaking news viewers another breaking news this news is from lali bella lali bella was recaptured by ethiopian national defense force especially amhara forces amhara militias more than a week ago but now we are hearing some fresh reports about tigray forces being in lali bella we'll have a detailed look at this breaking news before that a correction views in the previous video i told you about a statement of tigray central command i told you that tigray central command was claiming that 80000 ethiopian government soldiers had been killed on and near gashina front a correction views 80000 government soldiers were killed captured and dispersed that is what tigray central command said about fighting close to gashina now breaking news from lali bella of north wallo zone amhara region more than a week ago tigray forces retreated from lali bella they retreated from gashina then they withdrew from lali bella lali bella had come under endf control but but last night th- things changed viewers now according to writers according to writers lali bella is once again under the control of tigray defense force these minutes tigray fighters are patrolling the streets of lali bella what happened there how did uh, tigray forces uh, uh, take back lali bella so quickly was there any fighting in lali bella and uh, why did ethiopian government forces and amhara forces withdraw from lali bella the withdrawal of amhara forces endf started last night viewers and tigray defense force started entering in the morning reportedly uh, there was exchange of gun fire between tigray force and amhara forces not in the city but in the outskirts of lali bella city so lali bella has been retaken by tigray forces almost peacefully you can say that uh, no fighting happened inside the city and uh, endf and amhara forces withdrew from lali bella just like tigray forces uh, withdrew from lali bella more than a week ago why did they just withdraw we have uh, answer to this question you would sir you know that the main road uh, wuldia kobo road according to ethiopian government was cut off yesterday ethiopian government forces were trying to trap tigray defense force they were trying to block all roads from amhara into tigray they were trying to trap uh, tigray defense force the road was cut off uh, wuldia kobo makale road it was uh, difficult for tigray forces to withdraw from wuldia from other places back into tigray along the road wuldia kobo makale road so there was need for tigray defense force to open an other road and the other road is this one gashina lali bella sikota road uh last night uh, we heard of gashina first gashina came under the control of tigray defense force then from gashina they moved in a northern direction they captured lali bella now the road is open gashina lali bella sikota tigray road is open so the attempt by ethiopian government forces to trap tigray defense force has failed so far now tigray forces have an alternative route if the main route is blocked though so far we have not seen any pictures any videos that uh, the main road will the akobo road is blocked and it is cut off but even if it is cut off the second road alternative route uh, gashina will the uh, sorry 
Vishina, Lalibela, Sikota, this road is open. Why is that uh, ENDF uh, just withdrew from uh, Lalibela? Yours, these are massive human wave attacks which are happening in this war in the past few days we have seen. When Gashina was attacked by ENDF and Amhara forces, those were also massive human wave attacks. Uh, so, TDF just withdrew from Gashina from uh, Lalibela. Now, TDF is doing the same. Thousands of TDF soldiers stormed uh, Gashina, they stormed uh, 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 Lalibela and uh, ENDF and Amhara forces, they were overwhelmed. They were not in a position to uh, withstand this massive onslaught on Lalibela, on Gashina. So, massive human wave attacks from both parties to this conflict. Lalibela has been retaken by Tigray force. The attempt by Ethiopian government forces to trap Tigray forces has so far failed. We're trying to get some updates from the main road as well. Kobo uh, Vuldia Road is it closed, partially closed, open. We'll try to update you in coming videos. People would say, Sajid, where are drones? Why is that Ethiopian government force not using drones? Why is TDF taking back territories, Gashina and Lalibela? When you launch massive human wave attacks, when thousands of your fighters are willing to lay down their lives, obviously drones then have limited effectiveness. Yes, they can use so the drones can hit targets but if thousands tens of thousands of soldiers are marching towards uh, a place uh, drones uh, then become less effective not ineffective they are always effective but they they lose their their, their uh, significant effectiveness i think that is what happened otherwise drone strikes still underway Ethiopian government has bought drones to use them. It's using them. But uh, uh, it was a matter of life uh, or death for Tigray Defense Force because they were trapped. Main road was blocked. So uh, they had to fight out their survival. I used these words, I think, in a tweet yesterday that ADF will have to fight out their survival. And that is what they did. Tigray forces managed to open the second route, Gashina, Lalibela, Sikota, Tigray route. Can they keep this route open? Can they unblock Vuldia, Kobo, or Makale road? Several questions. Battlefield situation is evolving very rapidly. We will try to keep you updated about on the ground situation. So far, Lalibela has been retaken by Tigray Defense Force. Gashina has also been retaken by Tigray Defense Force. Sikota is already under Tigray Defense Force. The road is open for movement of Tigray forces from Amhara towards Tigray, from Tigray towards Amhara. Thanks for watching.